Have you made changes to an environment and now you want to copy them to another environment? With WP Engine, it's easy to do. Over the next few minutes, we'll show you how to push or pull changes in any environment, in any site, in your WP Engine account. Let's get started. First, let's go over what sites and environments are. At WP Engine, a site is a container that holds all the environments for your website. Every WP Engine account includes at least one site. The number of sites you can have depends on which type of plan you purchased. Environments are separate workspaces where you can build, test, or troubleshoot your website. You can have up to three environments for each site. Production, staging, and development. The production environment is for your live website. Staging and development are optional environments where you can work on your website privately because they aren't visible to the public. Only your account users can view these environments and they cannot be crawled by search engines. Each environment has its own WordPress installation, which means they are completely separate from each other. Keeping them separated means you can safely make changes in one environment without affecting any of the others. For example, you can use the staging environment to test updates, code changes, and major new features without disrupting your live website. Then, when you're finished, you can push the changes to the live website with confidence because you already know everything is working correctly. When you're ready to copy changes from one environment to another, you can use the push to or pull from action. Both of these actions work in the same way, so the only real difference is where you're initiating the copy process from. Let me show you what I mean. The push to action allows you to push the contents of the currently selected environment to another environment. For example, let's say I've been working on my website in the staging environment, and now I'm ready to publish everything to my live website. To do this, I'll push staging to production. And the pull from action allows you to pull the contents from another environment into the currently selected environment. For example, let's say I want to add a new plugin, but I want to test it for compatibility before adding it to my live website. To do this, I'll pull production to staging and then do all of my testing there. Now, let's go over the steps. In the user portal, click Sites in the primary menu on the left and then click the name of the site you want to work on. At the top of the page, you'll see the site name along with links to all the environments that currently exist in the site. Select an environment and then click the Actions menu to reveal the Push To and Pull From actions. If you want to push changes in this environment to another environment, select Push To. Next, Select the destination, the environment you want to push to. On the left is the source environment, which is the currently selected environment. It's grayed out because you can't change it on this page. However, if you accidentally selected the wrong environment, you can simply click the site name in the breadcrumb menu up here and start over. On the right is the destination environment. You can select any environment in any site to push to. Whichever one you choose will be overwritten with the changes from the currently selected environment. If you want to pull changes from another environment and overwrite the content in the currently selected environment, select Pull From. Next, select the Source, the environment you want to pull from. On the left is the Source Environment. You can select any environment in any site to pull from. The changes from whichever one you choose will be pulled in and will overwrite the content in the currently selected environment. On the right is the destination environment, which is the currently selected environment. Just like before, it's grayed out because you can't change it on this page. But you can click the site name in the breadcrumb menu if you need to start over. Now, you can choose what content to include in the copy. If you select Full Environment, 
All the files and database tables will be included. The files include all media, theme files, plugin files, scripts, wpconfig.php, core files, etc. And the database tables include all posts, pages, users, custom post types, for example, WooCommerce orders, and some settings. It's also possible for the database to contain theme and plugin settings. This varies though, so if you're unsure, you can reach out to the theme or plugin author to ask. It's important to note that we don't recommend pushing the entire database to the production environment. If you do, the production database will be completely overwritten. This can cause the live website to lose important data like new orders or new users, so be very careful when choosing this option. If you select Custom, all the files will be included by default. Next, you can select which version of the environment to include in the copy. You can choose the current version, or you can select an existing backup point to use instead. And if you want to include the database in the copy, check this box. If you're copying the current version of the environment instead of using a backup point, you'll also have the option to select which database tables you'd like to include. Once you've made all your selections, click Review Details. The next screen shows everything you selected so you can review and confirm it's all correct. If you'd like to receive an email notification when the push is complete, enter your email address. We do recommend enabling this notification because it's the only way you'll know when the process is complete. Before clicking the Submit button, take a look at the list on the right side of the page that shows what's going to happen during the push or pull process. First, we'll generate a backup for both the source and destination environments in case you need to restore one of them later. Second, the destination environment will be overwritten with the content you selected from the source environment. Third, we'll do a search and replace if necessary to make sure that all the URLs are correct when the process is finished. And finally, the cache will be cleared on the destination environment to make sure everyone sees the new and updated content. After confirming that everything is correct and enabling the notification, click the button to start the copy process. When you do, you'll be directed back to your site's overview page, and you'll see a pop-up in the lower right corner letting you know that the process has begun. Depending on the size of your site, the copy process may take longer to complete. When it's complete, if you enable the email notification, you'll receive an email confirming it was successful. If you have any questions or need additional assistance, check out our support center at my.wpengine.com support. You can also get to this page under Get Help. This is where you can search our help documentation using conversational search and find other helpful resources like Willa, our support concierge, who's on standby to answer your questions. You can also reach out to our friendly support team. We're always here and ready to help.